Hey guys, what's going on? Chase here, and do I got something for you? I'm telling you right now, this is fucking insane. I was gonna make a video on it like two days ago, and of course, I held off on it, and guess what? Everybody started making a video on it. It's fucking crazy. So, I was gonna make a video about the, uh, the Call of Duty 4 remastered maps. The ones that they just decided that they were gonna wait until December to release. The other six maps that they didn't release was Strike, Showdown, Countdown, Block, Wetwork, and Pipeline. All six of those maps were not released for some odd reason. When they first announced Call of Duty 4, they said they weren't even gonna come out with it at all. They said, you know what? Fuck it. We're not gonna do it. Uh, we're just gonna pick the most popular maps, which District, I don't think was the most popular map. I hate that map. Bog, fuck that map too. That map's trash as well. But they decided, you know what, that considered the top maps that people liked, which is fucking really weird. But they're coming out with that in December, and when somebody was looking through the files on Reddit, they saw, they found DLC guns and supply drops, which is fucking huge. But then, I was reading, and I personally don't think this is gonna happen. Yeah, and a lot of the other Call of Duties like Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare, all of those had these supply drops. I honestly don't don't think that they will bring it to Modern Warfare because this this game is getting so much praise and love to it that this would they know that this is gonna absolutely destroy this game. This will ruin it. Like some people are talking about, I don't play Infinite Warfare. Some people say some of the guns in Infinite Warfare that you get out of the supply drops are overpowered and they actually it's it's pay to win if you get those guns. I personally don't think that they're gonna do this. And why don't I? When people are saying, you know what, they found it in the file. Because because I was reading about it, supposedly they used some of the coding from different Call of Duties like Black Ops 3 to help make this game perform at its best. Which makes a lot of sense if you look at the guns. None of the guns are brand new guns that nobody's ever heard of before. They're all guns that were in different maps. Like the shovel was a huge deal because here the only melee thing you can do is literally your knife. And you can't even just run around with a knife anymore. You can only use it if you press B or however you have your controller set up. I personally don't think they're gonna do this. That's the exact reason. If you look at all the other guns, I'm not gonna show it because I've heard a lot of YouTubers say that Activision will strike down your channel, which, that's another thing people are saying. They're striking down these videos about these guns being made because they these guns, they're striking down other YouTubers' videos because it show, they're showing these new DLC weapons that were found in the coding, but I don't think people are like, yeah, that's why. They're striking it down because they don't want anybody to know. But I think they don't want to bash a golden game. I think they don't want people that are thinking right now in their head, I'm going to buy this game, and then hear all that and be like, you know what, fuck it, I don't want to buy it. I think they're just trying to stop because that's a huge rumor. Everybody's talking about it, and that would completely just kind of defeat the purpose of bringing back an old game. I'm just going to name kind of like a few. So obviously the shovel was a huge deal. You got the Modern Warfare 2 PP2000. You got the Black Ops 1 and 2 Galil. You got the Muddy Deagle, which is just another version of the Desert Eagle. Yeah, the MP44 is already in the game, and they found a file renamed the STG44. So it's the exact same gun, which again, doesn't make sense. Like, all this shit's not adding up to me. Like, I don't see it as, you know what, they're gonna fuck in, they're gonna fuck up this game. Like, this game's gonna be shit and we can't do anything about it. We hate fucking supply drops. We hate boost jumping. I think they kind of got it through their head by now. Let's not add these things. But who knows? Who knows? I like to look at the bright side. You got the Modern Warfare 2 Striker, which is another semi-automatic shotgun. Everything that was found is all from other Call of Duties, which, like I said, I think they use different pieces from other games to integrate it into this new remastered version to make it the best it can. Look. The games that the guns are coming from are all, you got Modern Warfare 2, excellent game. You got Black Ops 1, excellent game. You got Black Ops 2, excellent game. Black Ops 3, that's just the shovel. That was the shovel, and that's kind of a cool whatever. But like I said, if something's not broken, don't fix it. Why would they do that? I think that Call of Duty's smart enough to be like, you know what? We're just gonna leave it. Let's go back to the old school boots on the ground, and let's keep it that way. And that was my little uh, rant for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, and peace out, Girl Scouts.